Alright everybody, this is Fred today. You can see I weed eated the yard here. Got it weed eated. And in the neighborhood you can see. I think I know what's going on here with the corn. I think coons are getting up there on the stalks after my corn now. Now we do. Let me get around and see what they doing. Critters. <laughs> yeah. They up there after my corn. There's some flowers they can eat. Look at that. I know what y'all doing. Let me show you something over here right quick. Yeah, we finally getting one, boys. If I can find her again. Where is it? Got a watermelon growing. There it is. Be easy. That's a watermelon. I don't know how many more is in there. I'm gonna water them. Yeah, you can see the garden. Plows. Show you some gourds there. Yeah. That one there was on the ground. So I just got this bucket and propped it up there. It's gourds in here, see? See them? The gourds showing y'all what's going on today. They're gourds in there. A whole bunch of them this time. You got one that's a favorite one. <laughs> yeah, I lost my shoe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Got a favorite one. That I kind of like. That one there. Y'all can see that one. Yeah, tomatoes. Got something out of the garden. Put buckets. I think the coons coming up here and drinking water. Got some cherry tomatoes over there. See one little one down there. Ah, oh boy. Got some big ones there. Over here. Few ripe ones. Yeah, I weed either. Now, the sticks to burn. Get over here to the garden. Or the table, I mean. Now, put this white stuff on the ground. That's Epsom salt. I'm trying something. Uh, maybe it keep the bugs getting too close to the house, but it's what Fred's done today. Some of the things he picked up. All right. Fred's got to have his tea, boys. So if I can turn around here. Yeah, there I am, somewhere. Do this right way. Upside down? No. Let me see here. Turn it around the other way. That way. So hi everybody, this is Fred today. Got a few things I picked up right here. I show you. Hi everybody. This is Fred today. It's in the evening time, about 88 degrees. So I'll do a quick little video. So, Got the yard done, show you some things I picked up and talk a minute. Uh, get this out and show you some things I picked up. Turn this on. <sighs> you can see that. Oh. 
see I picked this up. Picked up the torch. Thought it'd come in handy. Picked up that uh, butane uh, thing here. Two cans of uh, propane there today. Things I just picked up. Picked up something that you can hook up to the butane tank. And I'll get some hoses later. Yeah, I did see that there was some uh, some 15 or 20 gallon tanks. Air Fort. Uh, and I uh, picked up, turning around here, everybody wanted to see. Yeah, it's uh, just a sharpener. No, I got sharpeners on wet rocks and stuff. This is one that's coarse on one side and fine on the other. Yeah, Smith. And I picked up. Um, Three boxes of 22 magnums. Picked up now, yeah, three boxes of them. Thought I had to have a lighter to light that. To light that, yeah, I'm getting smart at <laughs> Yeah, I picked up that. You know, those, you know, three boxes of them. As if I can open them. Well, I had them open earlier, now I've got to tear the box open. <laughs> I can show people. Oh, pour some out, get some out of there. They just 22 magnums, just happened to pick up. They wouldn't let me buy, I think uh, there's about six, let's see, six. Six times twelve, yeah. I think there was like six of them in this big box, but they wouldn't let they wouldn't sell but me but just three. And I was thinking about why why not? Hey y'all gonna make some money, ain't you? So why don't you just sell me sell me three boxes and right here picked up two two of them there. Um, the drop cloths, nine foot by twelve. It would make a good tent. You waterproof it. And we got two of them. There's the other one, and they're ten ounce. But they do sell somewhere that there's a twelve ounce, and twelve ounce is just like a tight, tight pattern. It's a tight, well knit, whatever. But you can make a tent with those. You take two of them and nine by 12 feet. That's big enough for a tent and you waterproof it. And there's a way of waterproofing that I've seen. But it involves turpentine, uh, some candles, and a great big uh, melting pot to get a little fire going for the pot. And uh, some bunch of candles. And you got to have a brush and you got to spread out your cloth and take a paintbrush and paint it use a paintbrush and and do that on that cloth and the waterproof it and it makes a good tint so I thought I'd just show you these things right quick what's going on so yep yeah the yeah, new wet rock and some uh, 22 magnum shells and I'm gonna get a tank for that I did see you know, the big tall tanks, I think 15 to 20 gallon. So I thought in there would just come in handy. And the drop cloths and stuff, and going on nine minutes here. Yep, turn this around again, boss. Let's see if I can turn it around now. Alrighty. But this is Fred today, and thought I'd show y'all what I'm doing today. Got a coon out there. I believe I done seen some little trails out there. I think there's a, the coons are coming up there and eating my corn. Uh, it ain't, uh, it's just Indian corn. I mean, I don't mind animals getting a little bit to eat and stuff. So that's all I'm gonna talk about today, what I'm doing in this evening time. 
So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. And thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Y'all be safe. Y'all be strong. Y'all be wise. And you be aware. Yep. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.